We're here today with our panel of experts that include Dale Kaler with eMagic, Ellen Brockley with MicroShare, and Janelle Kreiner with Microsoft. Each of them are here to talk about a new product we're launching to kickstart your IoT journey. It's designed to be easy and help people understand how they really use their space. I'm Rebecca Midkiff, and I'm an IoT technical specialist here at Microsoft. And next up, we hear from Janelle. Janelle, can you tell us about Microsoft's focus on IoT since the launch of Azure IoT years ago? Can you tell us about the current thinking and initiatives we have going forward? So thank you, Rebecca, for the, um, the question. Today, during my part of the presentation, I plan to talk about how we can help you in transforming your business with Azure IoT. I'm Janelle Kreiner, and I'm a digital sales lead IoT specialist within the Americas. Businesses across industries are driving record profits and creating new revenue streams by leveraging new technologies. Demand is increasing for IoT solutions that address our changing world. In fact, businesses are responding by leveraging powerful edge-to-cloud solutions. They are looking to create seamless experiences, reduce operating costs, and explore exciting new opportunities for profitability and customer engagement. We want to turn ideas into profitability with IoT. People are looking to optimize customer experiences, automate complex processes, collect data and analyze it, predict operations and supply chain needs, and meet sustainability goals. But who needs IoT? Virtually every organization in any industry can benefit, benefit from the agility, efficiency, and sustainability improvements offered by IoT applications. With Gartner, with Gartner predicting that more than 64 billion IoT devices will be using worldwide, by 2025, a stunning amount of every organization's data will be coming from their IoT products and systems. Enabling a digital feedback loop is key to success for employees, to products, to customers, and back. It will be essential for any business to compete. A digital feedback loop will help you and your organization in a variety of ways. First, it will drive operational efficiencies. Next, it will allow you to develop new products and processes and business models to better address your needs. And lastly, you can build new features and revenue streams by enabling of, of ancillary and new businesses, therefore transforming your organization in the new digital transformation wave. Enabling the digital feedback loop sounds easy, right? Everybody's doing it, but maybe it's not as easy as we all think. But you need to know how and where to begin. And so we have surveyed our customers and partners on what's working and what's not, and what are the challenges within IoT. Because innovations in the IoT are happening at a rapid fire pace. Many organizations are naturally hesitant to transform their entire business models. But what is the price of waiting when your competitors are already leveraging the power and agility of IoT? With 80 billion connected devices generating 180 zettabytes of data by 2025, this is more than just a trend. It's a new way of doing business. So in the survey, we found the four consistent product, uh, problems and hurdles in every IoT application. First, it's people believe it's too complex to scale. 43% of organizations survey feel overwhelmed by the wealth of options in the IoT marketplace and have reservations about effectively scaling them to their business. Secondly, is a lack of expertise and in infrastructure. Many organizations lack the technical depth and in-house resources and infrastructure to efficiently and effectively deploy an all-encompassing IoT platform. In fact, 90% of those surveyed say they lack the matchmaking vehicle for finding partners to help them execute their unique digital transformation business. The last part is a new end-to-end -end plan for adoption. 100% of organization surveys say they don't have a comprehensive plan for adoption, meaning they may have a plan or a plan to deploy disparate IoT systems, but what they end up with is silos of information and not success. It's a patchwork that's incompatible with services and solutions that don't provide a big picture solution for their business. Lastly is security concerns. 91% of organizations surveyed have security concerns about implementing IoT. Adopters are especially concerned about how to handle security issues that arise during the early stages of a, pro of a project. And we understand that. And so what we're talking about today is how do we overcome those challenges and hurdles? 
what we really want to do is blend the physical and digital world. So there's been a lot of discussion about metaverse and doing exactly this. So what we need is simple tools, simple templates, and a simple open source to, in order to accomplish this objective. The foundation of our business is to help you take your business to the next level by leveraging the cloud for end to end visibility and control of your physical spaces and processes. The open approach to Azure IoT places ease of development and deployment integration at the forefront. Connect, monitor, and control billions of devices on your terms by choosing to develop with speed and simplicity on a full managed application platform or build more flexible solutions using robust platform services. It's critical that we know how to connect these things together. Bring your spaces and equipment and people together for a seamless work stream that makes processes run more efficiently. Then monitor those so that you can garner real-time insights into customer and worker behavior, equipment performances, supply chain logistics, and more. Last, next, you want to analyze and automate. You want to understand histor historical data from the sensors, employees, and customer input and other sources to develop automated processes that reduce cost and drive customer satisfaction. And lastly, you need to be able to predict and simulate. You want to streamline and fine tune your operational models so that you're more accurately predicting future resourcing needs and also able to explore new business models by using simulation based on real world data. Now, technology is for every kind of business. These are the six main interest industries that we focus on within IoT at Microsoft. First is manufacturing around reducing costs and keeping production lines up and running more rapidly and reliably and remotely monitoring assets and workers. Next is energy and utilities. Everybody wants to meet sustainability green goals and save customers money by analyzing processes and accurately predicting usage. Next is smart places, and this is what we're going to talk about more today. Building owners want to increase tenant satisfaction and retention of automating HVAC, lighting, and access. In offices and hospitals and other spaces, organizations are increasingly energy efficient, want to optimize space utilization and more with Azure IoT. Next is, retail, is automotive manufacturers who want to monitor and manage their IoT supply chain so that they always have the parts and raw materials available for the products and the vehicles that they produce. Retailers are interested in reducing theft and keeping their shelves reliably stocked with intelligent surveillance and automated inventory, and hospitals want to improve patient outcomes by helping them manage aftercare at home and in the hospital where patients can be more provide more comfort. We do this through two major technologies within Microsoft. One is Azure IoT, which is the backbone of connecting all of these 80 billion, 80 billion sensors together. It allows us to monitor and act on the data, manage and update the devices in a secure environment so that hackers cannot break in or gain access to your environment. But then we want to combine, as I said, the physical and real world together with the digital world. So we have Azure Digital Twins, which allows you to mount the real world in a digital environment and fuse IoT and business systems together to provide real-time live insights. What we're really going to talk about and focus today in this, in this webinar is around Azure IoT for smart spaces. We want to enable IoT-driven solutions for smart spaces so that we can scale from a single building or a campus across your entire enterprise. We want to optimize your energy management and building operations. We want to improve your space management and design. We want to enhance your occupancy experience and productivity so that you have happier employees and visitors to your environment. And lastly, we want to enable safe return to the workplace. COVID-19 is driving an urgent need for IoT solutions, which instill confidence in the ability to safely return to the workplace and resume everyday activities. Microsoft Cloud provides the industry's broadest portfolio of services, capabilities, and partner relationships. We meet you where you are according to your needs and your industry's unique relationships and requirements. Microsoft is the only platform that provides a secure service and solutions from chip to server, from edge to cloud. We allow you to develop with choice, simple tools, simple templates, and an open source environment. In addition, we allow you to secure your data everywhere. Trust that your data stays secure from endpoints to the cloud. Next, we need to prepare for the future innovation. We want to enable you to unlock new revenue opportunities and streams, data streams through continuous enhanced data, AI, and advanced analytics. Lastly, we want to power the edge. We want to spend less time communicating with the cloud and operate more reliably, even in extended offline periods using Azure IoT Edge. 
Lastly, we need to be able to scale globally. We want to unlock the largest IoT partner ecosystem to scale from proof of concept to global solutions wherever and whenever you're ready. So I'd like to thank you for your time before I turn it over to our wonderful partners who have joined us that are part of our expanded IoT ecosystem. To learn more, please feel free to visit at the Azure IoT Learn More site and then also to learn about how we're melding the physical and digital world together, please feel free to download this white paper on converging the physical and digital with digital twins, mixed reality, and the metaverse apps. I thank you for your time. And at this point, I'd like to turn it over to Dale, who's going to talk about the part that the role that eMagic is playing in this solution. Great. Thanks so much, Janelle. My name is Dale Kaler. I'm the VP of Business Development at eMagic. As a Microsoft partner, we love seeing Microsoft bring new innovation and capabilities like Janelle told us about um, and putting these into the hands of our customers. Like Janelle said, a lot of times customers when it comes to IoT don't really know where or how to begin. So we decided to come up with a way to address the challenges that our customers are facing. And just to go through those again, very briefly, we want to address the the, the needs of customers in their very complex businesses with the capabilities to apply IoT at scale. And we want to address and talk to the many number of different options out in the marketplace, the different use cases, and really think about how can we make pilot projects um, doable and, and not sort of this long, endless um, science project that it sometimes can become. We know that our customers sometimes don't have the expertise or infrastructure internally um, to support IoT initiatives. And sometimes this lack of, of resources and knowledge uh, leads to maybe a distrust or maybe a lack of uh, confidence in, in all of the different platforms out there. Additionally, you know, if, if, if our customers don't really understand the value or people don't understand what value an IoT can bring or an IoT solution can bring, it, it, it can be hard to justify the cost. Similarly, not having an end-to-end -end plan for IoT adoption um, really can lead to some really can lead to some challenges, including data silos and choosing um, ad hoc IoT pilots that don't really demonstrate clear value. So having an end-to-end -end plan that really dovetails into the strategy of the business and really supports the business as a whole is really critical. And, and by doing that, we can, we can ensure that we have the attention and support of our leadership, which is also critical um, to, to success. And then the last challenge that we want to address is really addressing security concerns that are so important today. Managing IoT devices, the many devices that come into the organization, securing data, uh, securing privacy, and ensuring that we are reducing risk within the organization by introducing these solutions um, is paramount uh, to, to the way we approached um, this, this project. And another major thought and a major con consideration for building a kit for our customers was really to understand the data. And we all know that you know, data is super important today. And so we wanted to ensure that our solution was a combination of IoT devices IoT sensing brought to you, brought by MicroShare, Azure Digital Twins, which we bring to the table to, so, to help structure and visualize the data, all on top of the services of Microsoft, their Azure IoT services. And by bringing all of these together, the three companies can, partnership, can partner together to solve these challenges, to make a simple, easy to deploy solution, something that's non-technical and doesn't require extensive experience or IT resources, and something that's really gonna kickstart an IoT initiative, an IoT vision, and, and really lead to that IoT end-to-end -end enablement plan um, that I talked about a moment ago. And then finally, we wanna build all of that on a secure foundation using LoRaWAN communication uh, protocols and the Azure security services to ensure that we are guarding against cybersecurity threats and protecting our organization. So if we think back again to why IoT is so valuable, it's because data is so valuable. And it's not just data for data's sake, right? Data is the new oil, data is the new gold. 
but what does that even mean really besides people data is really one of the a business's most valuable resource it helps drive data driven decision making data driven decision making supports intuition experience so that we're not making decisions by guessing or using our gut um, so that our outcomes are not lucky or wrong they are driven and successful by by the data and the information that we get data and especially iot data is paramount and foundational to enabling smart environments smart buildings it's also critical for environmental social and governance initiatives amongst many other initiatives you'll have in the company and data meant data is an imperative for risk mitigation and risk management within the organization and now as we've seen with uh, as we've seen from janelle the technology really is in our hands to get lots and lots of data through uh through and manage that data so that we can analyze it and use it for analytics and when we think about analytics it's really about answering questions and making decisions and and we always begin with you know most companies are at this stage they they have a lot of reports and what we call descriptive analytics valuable information about the past telling us what went wrong and useful for you know understanding what happened but with more advanced analytics we can move into diagnostic analytics which is really looking at the past and looking for cause and effect uh, about why something might have happened so I, I isolating patterns and covering relationships and even identifying outliers and with the technologies that Microsoft is bringing forward, we can move into things like predictive analytics. What might happen? Looking at diagnostic and descriptive analytics to tell us what could possibly happen. And then utilizing machine learning and artificial intelligence, we can move into prescriptive analytics. What action could we possibly take to preempt or prevent a, a future problem or possibly even take advantage of a promising trend? So using these advanced analytical tools like machine learning and AI isn't some futuristic thing out in the distant future, it's here today. And that insight survey that Janelle told us about earlier, 84% um, of the companies in that survey said they already have an AI strategy and 31% are already implementing. So if that technology is in our hands today and if you're not already doing it, now is a place to start. A critical source of all of this data that we need to drive predictive and prescriptive analytics is gonna come from IoT. IoT can scale, can collect, capture data at scale. The thing though, is that you really need a way to make sense of all of that data. And that's where Digital Twins comes in. We've introduced Digital Twins into our solution idea, into our solution kit, because it's a way to model the physical world of things, people, and spaces connecting to their telemetry data and other data sources like geospatial data, system data, business data, and so on, and really modeling that data in a digital twin environment. We structure, we aggregate, structure, and normalize that data using digital twins definition language, an industry standard way of structuring data so that it's usable, interoperable, and extensible to twin a twins environment. Uh, inside and outside the organization. All of this structured data aggregated together allows us to create visualizations like the analytics in our kit, a single pane of glass view of, of uh, analytics and trends. It can help us move into the advanced kind of analytics that I spoke about a moment ago, machine learning and AI driving predictive, prescriptive analytics, modeling, simulation, and even closed loop automation. Using the suite of Azure services in IoT and the Azure cloud services as well, we really can bring all of this together, an IoT solution that combines the devices, structured, normalized data, and a, and a nice dashboard display of analytics. So to share more about the details of our IoT Easy Kit is Ellen Broccoli from MicroShare. Over to you, Ellen. Thanks, Dale. I'm Ellen Broccoli. I'm VP of the Microsoft Alliance with MicroShare. We find that our partnership with Microsoft is so valuable and so intensive that it takes 
of a, a team of people from our company to actually make sure we take the best advantage of all the technology and all the partnership opportunities they bring to us. So I'm very happy to be here today to talk a little bit about how we are thinking about IoT and how we're, we are working with partners such as you and with Microsoft to create solutions that solve real problems for real customers. We spent a lot of time at Microsoft thinking about how data can be used to inform decisions that improve wellness and safety and ensure security and provide business value to re reduce costs and improve service. So we've come together to create a concept um, starring our CEO, Ron Rock, in a, a, a short video about what a day in the life of IoT should look like. Hey, Melvin. Busy office today. Ah, air quality, check. Oh, oh, gonna need another coffee. Too many people in there, gonna have to wait. Report the towels are out. Wow, you guys are on it. Ah, an open field for coffee. <sighs> this place could use a cleaning. We gotta stop meeting like this. Oh, I gotta get to that presentation. So as you can see, that was a take on how IoT data can be used for a number of different services. So knowing where, where people are, and how they're using the space improves their wellness and safety. We um, can focus on cleaning areas as they've been used or allow crowdsource feedback to let the facilities management team know when a place needs to be clean. That decreases costs, improves productivity, and increases the happiness of the people in the space. And when you allow them to understand where people are and how they've been using the space, you give them power to choose how they want to interact with, with the space. And as we go through the return to work initiatives that a lot of companies are looking at, that becomes crucially important to make sure that, that employees and, and guests, visitors are happy in the space that they're in and want to spend time there. So understanding that and, and providing that information actually also feeds into ESG and sustainability because the, the social portion of ESG especially is very difficult to measure, but is becoming increasingly important as a requirement for reporting and compliance. And so if you can understand how people are interacting with the space and how they feel about being in the space and knowing that the space is clean, you can actually measure that and, and provide those feedback uh, metrics that you need for ESG and sustainability. MicroShare is built for scale. We have created our platform and our solution so that we can deliver tens of thousands of sensors across multiple countries in weeks. We, we have a, a new feature that is revolutionary called Deploy M, and I'll talk about that in a minute, but it's a, it's a mobile app that allows you to identify the sensors and attach them to a space in the digital world so that you can create that digital twin as you're doing the deployment. We are a single platform for IoT data for multiple solutions. We're not a siloed solution. We have over 22 solutions 
occupancy, air quality, feedback, leak detection, light sound measuring, refrigeration monitoring. We have a number of solutions that are all built on the same platform so that once you build that infrastructure and you have that, you, you build those roots, you can build your IoT solution on top of it in any number of different ways. We expand in multiple dimensions. So you can add more solutions and you can also expand throughout your, your entire enterprise. We are LoRaWAN experts. We are uh, an early member of the LoRa Alliance. And I'll tell you a little bit more about why that becomes important, but it's, it's LoRaWAN is the de facto standard now for IoT networking in, in the world. It's, it's ubiquitous, it's global, it's secure, and it's, it has some cost-effective and uh, coverage advantages and benefits that, that are very, very compelling. We wanted to be sure that our solutions are affordable. And so we've created a model that is disruptively inexpensive. We provide our solutions as a subscription. So there's no need for a capital investment at all. We monitor the health of all of, this, all of the devices. We make sure that the data is flowing and we provide the data through a, a set of dashboards and um, analytics for you, but we also provide a data stream so that you can take that data and bring it into your own environment, as I'll see in an architecture diagram here in a minute. At the foundation of the architecture that we've built together with eMagic and Microsoft is the MicroShare Sensing Network up in the left corner here. The, the key advantage and differentiator for us is our deployment application. It's a mobile application called DeployM, and it allows you to map the sensor with the location where you've, you've installed it. So in the video, we had uh, uh, the men's room. We also had a kitchen area that could have been on the third floor. And the, so we would define that in the app. You would scan a Q, QR code on the sensor that you wanted to place in that area and then choose third floor kitchen from the app we will automatically create that digital twin and create that metadata that lets us know that the sensor is in that particular location. Once those data uh, generators, those sensors are in place, we call it telematic data, that telematic data is then sent to Allura Gateway, which you simply plug into a wall socket. We recommend that you put it in a utility closet or someplace that is, is secure uh, so that so that you can't unplug it and take it away. Um, we've had a couple of situations where the cleaners actually have unplugged the gateway so they could plug in the vacuum cleaner in a space um, during the evening hours. And so uh, we wanna make sure that the, the gateway is plugged in and then the data will automatically come through the gateway into the Microsoft network server where we unpack it, decrypt it and prepare it. We annotate it with contextual data so that we report which which piece of telematic data is coming from which sensor so we can map it back to that digital twin. We feed that data stream then into Twinworks in the eMagic Azure site so that, and they prepare it to go into Azure Digital Twins. With Azure, Azure Digital Twins, they create a single pane of glass that creates occupancy reports and other, other useful information about the rooms that you're monitoring with the kit. So they provide real-time dashboards and trending analytics that you can use to really understand how people are using your space and make decisions about how to improve the service for that space. The MicroShare Sensing Network uses LoRaWAN, and we very specifically chose LoRaWAN because it is becoming the de facto standard for IoT networking in the world. It is a long-range wireless protocol. There's no interference from other wires, wireless solutions, and a single gateway can capture data from up to 15 kilometers if it's an outdoor gateway. It's a very secure network. As I mentioned, the data packets are, are packed. They're encrypted at the sensor level. They go straight through the LoRa gateway in that same format and only are unpacked and decrypted once they hit the microshare system. The battery life is very long. These, these sensors are extremely efficient and the batteries in these can last up to several years. They're easy to install and there is no wiring required. 
But the most important part about this is it, it is a global open standard. There are over 500 members of the Alora Alliance. So we, we, and by definition you, are not locked into a particular vendor. There are sensor vendors, there are other providers who are all developing technology and devices for the LoRa protocol. So we have a lot to choose from. So what's in the box? We include all the connectivity and all the devices you need to monitor two restrooms and two meeting rooms. We included the LoRa gateway. The devices for the restrooms are two motion sensors that sit over the door. These are not cameras. They only measure door opening and closing. And by door opening and closing, we divide by two. We can create a proxy for how many people have used that space, which can be very useful when you're scheduling on-demand cleaning. So you may say a threshold of 50 people in the space, send in a cleaner. That data is absolutely avail available to you immediately. We've included two feedback sensors. So you saw in the video that we could request a paper or ask for a clean. So the buttons are, are defined for leak detection to report a leak or paper, soap, or it needs to be cleaned or the thumbs up in the middle. You're doing a good job. This space is, is, is great. Also included is a magnet. This offers another method to send a signal through the feedback sensors. If you touch the magnet on the bottom of the sensor, we cleaners can use this to identify that they've attended or that they've taken care of this space. So that can be very useful in understanding service level agreements. So if someone requests a, a service, the, the service provider can then indicate when they've completed that service. So that gives you a whole nother level of information about how well you're doing and how well you are taking care of your space. For meeting rooms, we have two, two sensors that measure motion within the room. So it's uh, measuring occupancy that will determine, that will tell you if there are people in the space. And so we recommend that you use your busy meeting rooms and your busy restrooms to, to monitor this data, to collect this data and to monitor it over the time of the trial. Included in, this, in the service and with the kit is a fully managed Azure service, so you don't have to worry about the extra cost of, of using your Azure uh, tenant. We have IoT Easy dashboards and analytics. As I mentioned, the gateway and the network management software is there, so you don't have to worry about the technology or the uh, complexity of that. We have technical support, so we'll be there to help you with deployment. We'll be there to help to monitor your device health and answer any ongoing questions you have. And then we we'll also have business um, support to help you understand how to read the data, how to analyze it, and how to use it to improve your business, and also to give you some ideas about how to expand that so that when you think about your IoT roadmap or achieving that IoT vision, you can use this information and this learning and this knowledge to start building that, that fundamental roadmap that you need to go forward. And of course, we want you to continue, we want to expand your, your solution set, whether it's offering more solutions or different solutions or expanding to your entire building or your portfolio of buildings, we're gonna be help, there to help you with that proposal. So what are the terms of the deal? We set this up as a 90-day trial, which is plenty of time for you to generate data, analyze it, and start thinking about what you can do with it in the future. The $5,000 fee includes the devices I described, the network, the Azure services, technical support, and business support for you throughout the entire trial period. There's a $45 shipping and handling charge, and we'll also take a $1,000 deposit at the beginning, which will be refunded at the end of the trial if you return the devices or expand your installation. It's easy to buy. We've set up an e-commerce site called Twinworks, Dot myshopify.com. So if you just go to that site and enter your details, we'll ship a kit with it to you within a couple of days and you'll be up and running.
So one of the things that we really want to focus on before we go today is what are the business benefits, even just from the kit? So one of the issues that we're all facing with return to work is over allocation of real estate resources. A lot of companies have a whole lot more real estate in their portfolio that they are leasing that they don't really need. When you understand how many people are in your space and when they're there, you can actually start thinking about and creating plans for lease optimization, reducing that very high cost, business cost of, of leases. You can improve your operations dramatically by providing better service. Again, is, is you see somebody asking for service in a restroom or a, a kitchen area to be cleaned, you can respond very quickly. And that increases the happiness and the wellness of the people in the space. And it also increases your um, ESG profile as well. And what are the benefits for the people in the space? Well, cleanliness has been shown to be a very key indicator in the happiness of people in a space. And even goes so far as to say, uh, talk about their happiness or their confidence in the leadership in the organization that they're, they're working for. When you can adapt the space to the real usage, you end up with powerful decisions about how to arrange that space. So you can improve the workspace experience for people if you need more common areas or more pods or telephone rooms, or you may need more offices or meeting rooms. You can get all this kind of information from knowing how many people are there and how they move around the space. And then again, at the very end of the day, you want to provide higher levels of service so that people are happy, they want to come back to work, and they want to work for you. So we've created the IoT Easy Kit for you to kickstart your IoT vision, because we believe that once you see data flowing through and you can match it to your business and know how people are using your space, that will generate many new questions and new ideas for how to improve your business but you really can't analyze data that you don't have. You can always come up with new ideas for how to analyze historical data, but if you don't capture it, you're not gonna be able to do that. So we encourage you to build the infrastructure that you need, start with something simple, and but make sure it's a platform that you can use to grow and that will help you understand the complexity of your space and how to create an IoT roadmap that takes you to the future. So Dale and Ellen, I see some questions in the chat that I'd like to cover with you before we break. Um, so the first question is, how easy it to, is it to install and do I need an engineer or an IT specialist? I can take that one. Um, no, you don't need either of those uh, resources. The IoT Easy Kit is designed to be super easy to install. Um, just receive your box, take the kit out, peel, in, peel off the stickers, we provide detailed instructions on where best to situate the, the sensor in the location. Um, so you'll be up and running in, in no time at all. You can log in, see your data, uh, and start uh, looking at the, the results of the sensors. Wonderful. And I'm assuming both you and Ellen will be, or, and you're both MicroShare and eMagic will be around to assist clients if they get stuck somewhere in the process. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Wonderful. Uh, the next question that I see is, we are very concerned about security. In fact, that was one of the blockers that I mentioned in adopting IoT. How can I be sure that my data is safe? The IoT sensor data goes through the LoRaWAN network. And we chose LoRaWAN because of its security. It sits completely outside your corporate network. So there's no, no danger of interfacing within any of your corporate systems. It, it is the fastest growing IoT network for a reason. There are, it is adopted by customers and vendors across the world because of its integrity and because of the, the, the nature of its security. Great, thank you. The next question I see is how reliable is your solution? Uh, I could take that. Well, it's very reliable. Not only um, does, do the devices have very long battery life, in addition to monitoring the health of the devices, um, the network and the sensors, um, we will also provide support during U.S. Eastern business hours um, to address any questions or concerns that you might have. So we'll be with you every step of the way 
detailed instructions uh, and support available on the web um, and, and through our support services, you can reach us and, and we'll be happy to help you out. Super. And then uh, maybe if, uh, you could take this one, Ellen. How long will the hardware last, the whole system, if I get the radio and the various sensors? Oh, it lasts as long as you like it to. Um, we're developing these kits as a, a starter. So we're hoping that you will, you will find the value, we're convinced that you will, and that you'll wanna expand beyond that. But the, the devices themselves will last three to five years on the batteries that come with it. And the gateways are plugged into an AC outlet in the wall. So we'll be able to generate, it generates power from there. So the, this, they're designed to last for a very long time. Well, that's exciting. So my last question, and both of you can address this one, is what happens after the trial? So I've tried the, the kit, it works wonderful, and I'm excited about the results for my business. Then what happens? We're gonna support you throughout the trial to make sure that you are understanding the data and seeing the value of the data that we're generating. So what we wanna do is help you create that roadmap, create that IoT future, that vision that you, want to accomplish and we'll be there to help you figure that out yeah and i think the other thing too is that you know we have other iot solution kits we have other iot um, solutions that uh, can address different use cases um, and of course with the foundation that we're putting in place you know this is a system you know based on azure cloud services microshare data services and eMagic twinworks we can actually connect to other systems in your environment. So your building automation system or your HVAC or um, other, other parts of your building that you wanna bring in and start analyzing data and, and start creating kind of correlations and that kind of analytics about the space, the people in it, how it's being used and how the building is performing. So there's a lot of places you could go with this kind of solution. Uh, and we'd be happy to have that kind of conversation with you uh, to talk about your needs and, and how the results you're seeing from the trial and, and places that are of interest to, to the key stakeholders in your business. Well, I want to thank both of you for this exciting opportunity, and it's been a pleasure working with you as we put together the IoT Easy platform. I'm so excited that not that this is just the first one that we're introducing and that we plan to introduce others to help our clients on their IoT journey as we start melding um, their infrastructure together into a digital world. Um, so we'll have mappings and modeling for both the digital and real world together. And we will in the future very shortly be able to address things like your air quality and your desk occupancy and leak detection and many other applications that will all run on the same architecture that will help you as you expand uh, and transform with your IoT. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to any of us at the end of this webinar. Thanks, Thank you, everyone. Yeah.